Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time... Well, last time I didn't get myself killed, thumbs up, but I... did get myself into trouble, and I... ended up helping Fatal sleep, somehow. What a weird game this is proving to be so far. When I'd heard it was open world, I kind of didn't expect if it was, you know, inside of a castle, that it would quite have that same level of wander around and do whatever the fuck you want. We're in the pause menu because I'm just next to this thing. Oh, get the rose, get the... Oh, oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Just ducking around the thing as he passed it. I should be using the sticks to distract them since I can't, you know... Oh, come on, he can't see this. Nope! Uh, fuck. I didn't think that would work. Well... Nope! Ow, yes. My leg. I'm in the dark. Yes, thank you, Brain. That does not help this situation. My brain came up with the, uh, spontaneously reminded me of a saying. Cats are black in the dark. I think it's about equality. Well, now where the fuck I am? If I might quote the, uh, esteemed Mr. Sark. It's a strange situation. It's like they tried to make a regular game open world by allowing you to do everything it's possible to do in the game at the same time. What did that accomplish? Okay, it looks like I can jump from that, uh, walkway to that, uh... Fuck. What's he doing here? They seem to change positions between the day and the night, so... Okay, it's all good. I can't see a damn thing, but, uh, it's all good. Of course I do. Probably more accurate to say I need a strong box key. Ooh, ladder. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um... Ah. Okay. Gonna need a stool for that one. I saw a stool in the courtyard with eight million guards, but, uh, I don't think I can walk it over here, you guys. Ah, well, I'm in here now. Why 
Why does that jug keep getting alerted to me? Oh no, it's the barracks! Still doesn't say empty. Odd. Sorry about that. He's sleeping with a halberd, I've just suddenly realized. Guard chestplate, the guard chestplate, and pauldrons of a guard suit of armor. Uh, the chestplate is surprisingly well made. The pauldrons, designed to protect the shoulders, are fastened to the chestplate with leather straps and unusual and well executed detail. Huh. On the inside of the chestplate, just above the waistline, is embossed the initial R. If that is a reference to something, I don't know what it is. For example, I name-dropped the, uh, Red Wall books in, uh, the first episode, but I have not actually read any of them. I'm just familiar with the concept, where it's like medieval England, but with size-appropriate, uh, humanoid animals. Everybody's fucking asleep. Oh, I figured... Oh, it's not time to sleep. I thought it was just being, like, facetious. Because it's like, oh, of course it's not time to sleep. You're breaking out of prison. But, uh, maybe it actually just means that, uh, in the daytime, I mean, in the nighttime, I can sleep through to the daytime. Since it seemed like there were a lot more guards, and I didn't appreciate the part where they, uh, seemed to be able to, uh, see me even in the dark. Or hear me even if I was crouching? I'm not quite sure. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna burn the banner in there without getting myself killed. You know what? I There is a thing in here I can lock myself in and quick save, so I'ma do that. Try that one. No fucking idea what I might need that for. Save in this one. No, I have no idea. 
This doesn't seem like an optimal save system. I do like that there's an option just for load most recent save. Ah, oh, piss drink. Barrel, barrel. As soon as I get in, he forgets what he was doing. It's not even like he runs around the corner and it's like, Oh! You know, it must have been the wind and all that. Now, the guy from the first area would just immediately go back to his chair and go to sleep. I don't remember why I needed this. Aw, oh, fuck. Oh, come on, man. I guess he was watching me, huh? Nope, I can't open that. Shit. Piss. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die. Yoink! That's four. Oh. Well, at least it wasn't the one where I, uh, had that thing going. The hell is that? Oh, right, dying. Um... A lot of stuff is plus eight. That's fine. That is quite all right. Oh, no! Not a great animation for that, but I'll allow it. Apparently this game was developed by, like, a single dude with some musical composers. Uh, hi. Nope, excuse me. Pardon me. I am not interested in what any of you are selling. Nah, uh, fuck. Oh. No! Wait, really? Okay. Well, that happened. I don't even remember where the banner I wanted to burn with the, the stool was. Oh, and I'm back out here. Great. Amazing. I mean, you know, quick save, because I did burn the other banner. And survive. Well, since it's daytime, maybe I can hand in that, uh, handkerchief now. Fuck! God damn it! Well, while I'm in the trough, I... Pretty sure I forgot to read one of these. Yeah, Crosstail Hearts, a racy novel entitled Crosstail Hearts. From the uh, pen of Rex Peck, author of Sunset at Dawn, comes the unfinished final chapter in this epic saga of passion and betrayal. Oh, good. Oh, good! Crosstail Hearts, a novel by Rex Peck. Enraged, the doe flew at Rex, all teeth and fur, a broken shard of mirror held like a dagger in her rebellious paw. 
With one powerful arm, the handsome captain caught her easily by her slender wrist and pulled her close to him. He was much stronger than her, and she knew it. I could have you hanged for that, he smirked. Udith laughed a sneering laugh, her red eyes burning like hot fire. Do it. I'd rather die than live a moment longer under the Baron's rule. <laughs> she wrenched herself from his powerful, vice-like grip and stumbled, falling hard against the cell's stone-cold floor. Her cold stone floor, even. Rex moved to her, his heart pumping in his muscular chest, loud enough for Udith to hear, like distant drums warning of some approaching storm. Am I even going to be able to show the next page on YouTube? Don't touch me! Udith hissed, and she turned her ruby eye. And as she turned, her ruby eyes met his, challenging, piercing his soul like an explorer conquering a strange island beyond the horizon. Don't touch me. Her voice became a whisper, her ears vibrating like an unwritten invitation. All at once, the rest of the text is, thankfully, illegible. Good lord. Everywhere. How am I going to deal with this shit? Imagine if he just jumped out and started playing the loot. I feel like they just wouldn't know what to do with that. I don't know. It's a small keep and these guys have nothing better to do, literally. So, maybe. Books are over here. Mira's book! The last village lay two days past, and you sensed Master Lu Lin would not survive long enough to reach it. So you laid him in the handcart and hurried on, a young minstrel apprentice all but alone, in a kingdom you'd known only in song until then. On you went, towards the hills, down rutted lanes, through fords, onward, until the way grew steep and slippery with moss and rain. And there, beyond the ridge, among fields of flowers, was a village. Hamel, an island in a golden sea. They took you in. A widow with knowledge of such things prepared an infusion of elder wart to help break your master's fever. You offered what little money you had in return, but the mice folk of Hamel would not accept it. But they welcomed your help in the fields, for too many bucks had left the village for the copper mine to the west. After sunset, they'd bid you play, and you'd sing of distant places they'd scarcely heard of and would never see. And then one night, a young doe joined the crowd the pups all but pushing her into the circle, teasing her until she so shyly she began to dance. Strange, and all the weeks there you'd not noticed her. You played for her as fast as she could dance, and she danced for you, fast as you could play, both enchanted by the spirit of the lay, the fire's embers bright and her brighter still. Nope. Piss! He saw that. I didn't know. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. It did not make a distinctive crack sound. Heights, the guards. Like the building itself, the guards of Dwindling Heights have seen better days. For members of the Rat Guard who have displeased the Baron in some way or another, patrolling the keep will be their final assignment and literally a dead end job. As a consequence, the rats stationed here are bitter, ill disciplined, and downright mean. 
prone to take out their frustration on any creature fool enough to get in their way, especially a mouse. Okay, then. I guess that does explain that. Let's skip that. That's a plan. I can't tell if that dude is out there or not. But the timer did go, so... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. Tylo tries to make his way to that. Oh. Oh, shit. I, have to... I stopped to let the thing drain, but it kept going, so he must have turned around. Oh, boy. I'll find my way out of this. Later!